Okay, we have here today a really interesting integral. This one's from the MIT integration B, but this was from 1991, problem 10. We have the integral of x, e to the x, sine x. Okay, right away the thing that really jumps out is, it looks like we wanna use integration by parts, but the tricky thing is we have three functions. We're used to doing integration by parts if we had any two of these things. So to get started with this, I actually wanna do a few things first. I want a couple of tools. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm actually gonna just do this integral and I wanna get a value for this, which I'm gonna call i, let's just label this i. Then if I can solve this integral, then I can use that value later on. So for this, we're gonna use integration by parts. And as you know, I like to use the DI method or tabular integration. So when I do this, I'm gonna integrate e to the x and we'll just differentiate sine x. And we'll take a derivative here and we get cosine x and we'll take another derivative. Derivative of cosine x is gonna be minus sine x. And then everything over here is going to be e to the x. Now, of course, this would go on forever, but I stop here just noticing that the integral is just going to repeat and that, you know, sine x dx, this is the same as our integral that we have over here. So a uh, part of our solution on the diagonal, so let's just write this down. And what I'll do is factor out an e to the x because we're going to have that in both terms. So this is going to be e to the x sine x minus cos x. Then we're going to have a minus here. But then again, this e to the x sine x, this is our original integral. So I'm just gonna write this as the i, the i that we have right here. But then I can add an i on both sides. So this will cancel here. And we end up here, this is gonna be two i. But then if I divide by two, sorry, a little messy, divide by two over here, then this right here is gonna be our value for this integral i. Okay, now one more thing I wanna do before we get back to our main goal. We're gonna do a really similar integral, e to the x cosine x. We'll do this one really quick. Because again, this is going to help set me up when we do integration by parts on this thing later on. So for this same exact thing, we're going to do integration by parts with the DI method. And we'll differentiate cosine x. And this is going to go really just about the same way. Derivative of cosine x is going to be minus sine x. Derivative of minus sine x is minus cos x. And then everything over here, e to the x. And then again, we'll factor out e to the x here. Minus times minus here is gonna be a plus. So we're gonna have, instead of sine x minus cos x, we're gonna have sine x plus cos x now. But again, this right here is the same as our j. This here is j. And we have a minus sign in front, so this is gonna be minus j. We'll do the same exact thing, adding a j on both sides. Cancel, this is 2j. I'll divide by two here, divide by two here. And this gives us a really similar answer to this for our j integral. Okay, now finally we're back to our main integral. And so again, I wanna use integration by parts on this. Again, we'll set up our table. Then what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna differentiate x and we'll integrate this part. So we're gonna integrate e to the x sine x. The nice thing about that is we have that value right there. We already did that one. That's gonna be e to the x sine x minus cos x over two. Derivative of x, that's just gonna be one. Then I can differentiate this one more time. Derivative of one is just zero. But then integrating this thing is not too bad because just notice this right here, this is actually our i value that we have a value for. And then when you distribute in the e to the x to the cosine x, this here is actually gonna be just j. So it turns out this integral is just gonna be i minus j all over two. Well then let's just work out what i minus j is gonna be. Now we have e to the x in both these, so we'll factor out an e to the x. So we're gonna have sine x minus cos x. So subtracting j, we'll distribute in a minus sign to this. So we'll have minus sine x. Distributing a minus into the cosine, we'll have minus cosine x. And we have the same denominator, so this is all over two. But then sine minus sine, that's gonna cancel there. If I rewrite this, we'll have our ex up front. Minus cos x minus cos x, that's gonna be minus two cosine x. And this is all over two. But then the twos are gonna cancel here. And so this is just gonna give me minus e to the x cosine x. So we'll just take this value and we'll plug this in for our i minus j value. Now from here, in order to finish this off, we have part of our solution right here on the diagonals. Now we would integrate this last row right here, but we're multiplying by a zero here. So this integral of zero is just gonna be zero. So all we need to do really is copy down our solution. So this first piece, distributing in the x, we're gonna have x e to the x over two sine x minus cos x. And then here minus one times minus is plus. We're just gonna have plus e to the x cosine x over two, add a plus c, and that's it. 
Okay, they gave us a good workout. Integration by parts three times. So we'll stop it there. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.